So flipping over to the next page, uh, we're asked to find the point of intersection of these two lines, and I'm going to graph these two lines in two different ways. So first of all, if we were to take uh, 2x minus y minus 3 equals 0 and solve for y, I could rearrange and leave the negative y on the left. Remember when you rearrange, if I bring that 2x over to the other side, remember the uh, sign changes so it's negative 2x. And the same with this minus 3, if you bring it over to the right side, it would be plus 3. Now how I would finish solving for y is I would multiply both sides by negative 1. So this negative y would change to a plus y, and the negative 2x to a plus 2x, and that plus 3 would change to a subtract 3. So solving for y, y would equal 2x minus 3. Another way you can think of doing that is you could think of bringing the negative y over here. Then the y would be plus y over here. So we would get y equals 2x minus 3. Now to graph this line, it's now in slope y-intercept form. That's the slope. The negative 3 is a y-intercept. So the line will actually start here at negative 3. So we'll put a dot here in the graph at negative 3. And remember, the slope is 2, the 2x two up here. So a slope of 2 is the same as 2 over 1. So that means, remember, we go right 1 and up 2, or up 2 and right 1. And we do that for a couple of points, and then we can draw our line. And we'll label our line. Well, that's y equals 2x minus 3. Now we're going to graph the uh, x plus y equals 3, and we're going to solve for y. So if I want to solve for y, I would think of rearranging this and bringing the x over here. Remember, the uh, sign of the x will change. It would be negative x on the right side. So solving for y, we would get y equals negative x plus 3, or 3 minus x. The reason I write it as negative x plus 3 is because that's in y equals mx plus b form. The slope here is negative 1. And of course, the y-intercept is at 3. So the y-intercept is at 3. So this graph is going to start here, right here at 3. And the slope of negative 1, remember there's a denominator of 1 there if you don't see it, means that you go down 1 to the right 1. The, the negative 1 on top is the uh, rise. So it actually goes down 1. And the run on the denominator, that's positive. So that, that's why we go right 1, down 1, right 1 and do that for three or four points and you can draw your line. So this graphing used in the slope y-intercept form and we'll label our equation. Now that's one way to graph them. Another way to graph them, and we'll get into what the point of intersection is in a moment, is we could also use uh, intercepts. And the intercepts, remember the intercepts occur each intercept occurs where the other variable equals 0. So for example, um, this point here on the y-axis, that's the y-intercept we'll find there is 3. But notice that where y equals 3 there, x is 0. So if I want to, in that line, find what the y-intercept is if I didn't already have the line drawn. If I substitute 0 in place of x and solve for y, I'll get y equals 3. And that's what we're going to do with these two equations. So I'll rewrite my equation. And I'm going to let x, x equal 0. I'll let x equal 0 to find the y-intercept. So I'm going to put 0 here whoops, and substitute in place of x, not y. So substituting in place of x, 2 times 0, of course, is 0. We just have negative y minus 3 equals 0. And we'll solve for y. So solving for y, I would get y equals negative 3. Uh, I could think of bringing the y over here, and then the y would be positive 1y, and it equals negative 3. Or I could bring the negative 3 over and then multiply both sides by negative 1. I'll get the same thing either way. So y equals negative 3. So there is the y-intercept for that line. So if I didn't have the line already drawn, I would know now that that's where the y-intercept is. Now we're at y equals 0 to solve for the x-intercept. 
So notice we're putting 0 in place of y here. So we'll solve for x. 2x would equal 3. Rearrange and bring in the 3 over. And then divide out the 2. So 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So the uh, x-intercept here is here at 1.5. So then I could draw my line. For the blue line, we'll do the same thing. Rewriting the equation. So I'm going to put 0 in place of x here. So 0 plus y equals 3, so y equals 3. So the y-intercept for this line, of course, is right here at 3. Now to find the y-intercept, we'll put 0 in place of y, and so x equals 3 as well. So the x-intercept is here at 3, and of course then we could draw the line. Now that it looks like the two lines cross here at the point 2, 1. That's what it looks like. And so we're going to check to see and make sure that it is exactly 2, 1 in the two equations. The two original equations, we'll check in this one and this one. Now the way you do a check here is the left side is 2x minus y minus 3. So the left side of the equation is 2x minus y minus 3. And so I'm going to substitute 2 in place of x here. And the y coordinate is 1, so we'll put 1 here in place of y. So there's the 2 for x and the 1 for y. 4 minus 1 is 3, and then subtract another 3 is 0. And the reason that is a check is because since I got it to equal 0, the, the number on the right side here, that's why that point has to be on that line, because that point satisfies the equation of the line. Now let's check in the x plus y equals 3. So the left side expression is x plus y. There's no expression on the right side, it's just 3. And so we're going to put 2 in place of x and the 1 in place of y. It's 2 in place of x, 1 in place of y, 2 plus 1 equals 3. And it's supposed to equal 3 because 3 is what's on the right side of the equation. So it equals right side, so it's checked in there as well. And so just a concluding statement, the point of intersection is 2, 1.